the statistics are grim. According to the United Nations, women form half the world's population, work two-thirds of the world's working hours, and yet receive only 10% of the world's income, and own less than 1% of the world's property. Clearly, women's empowerment is an idea whose time has come. No longer can it remain a mere buzzword, no longer just a cliché. Nor even can the term empowered women remain a fictional concept. Empowerment must, in fact, evolve into a mindset. Women's empowerment is indeed the right and the smart thing to do. Supported by Walmart Foundation, the Women and Factories program was launched in 2011 and implemented in two phases. This program is part of Walmart Foundation's Women's Economic Empowerment Initiative. Launched as a business initiative with a human face, Women and Factories is a convergence of business and philanthropy. Its core component consists of life skills training for 60,000 women in 150 factories in India, Bangladesh, El Salvador, Honduras, and China. In India, Swasti Health Catalyst is the implementing partner. Interesting part about it is the four-way partnership, which has been very successful. One is of the factories, which willingly invited an NGO to come inside to train their HR and their staff. And secondly, the investments which were made by Walmart and the fact that they gave us the space and the opportunity to do the program the way we would like to do it. And third is the committed staff of Swasti who uh, were uh, the ones who delivered the program with uh, such high levels of passion. And fourthly, the women who got the program who applied those learnings in their own way to change their own lives. The program seeks to improve the lives of women around the world by providing life skills training, market access and career opportunities which will ultimately enable them to access the economic opportunities they deserve. The highlights of the Women in Factories program include focus on critical life skills, building positive attitudes, mindsets and practices, improved leadership skills, holistic development of the person, improved performance at work, well-being for both self and family, increased autonomy, resilience. First, I came to the first time, I came to the first time. I came to the first time, and I came to the training. I came to the first time, and I came to the first time. I didn't know anything about that. Women's empowerment is crucial to the economic well-being of their families and communities. Women who earn an income typically invest 90% of it back into their families and their communities and thus help to break the cycle of poverty. Women in Factories program has enabled thousands of women to lead a better life. Through this program, we have reached more than 26,000 workers from 36 factories in India directly by importing life skills. The program teaches critical life skills related to communication, financial literacy, leadership skills, health and hygiene, reproductory health, occupational health and safety, balancing work and life, and gender relationships. Women in Factories program focuses on enhancing capacities of women through life skills training, building capacities and systems within factories, and enabling them to provide growth opportunities for women workers. Measuring productivity is crucial for any organization that aims to scale up the business. Along with the investment in infrastructure and technological advancement, the productivity of the labor force needs to be accelerated for the organization to fare well in the market. And their production capacity is a result of a number of factors that affect their life. The training has two segments, the core program and the sustainability components. The core program components include enablers orientation. Enablers orientations include induction on the Women in Factories program 
factory roles and responsibilities of the senior and middle management, including supervisors. Starting something new is always disturbing what you had been already doing. So when Swasti came forward with the idea of training in our factory, we knew this would imply freeing our workers from their work for a few hours. And that is an actual loss for us. But we took a chance. Now, looking back, I realize that was a wise decision we took. A right investment at the right time. Foundational training. Foundational training, a comprehensive package of life skills, is designed to fast track women on the path of empowerment. It is designed to reach the total workforce, both men and women, in the implementing factories. I am a full time doctor in the company and attend the health issues of workers in general. The intervention of Walmart Foundation and Swasti through their Women in Factory program, the menstrual and personal hygiene of female workers are given special attention. Earlier, most of them were using fabric for their menstrual purpose. After the training, all of them used the sanitary napkin. The 15 hours training package includes communication, managing work and career, gender awareness, health, workplace discipline, and learning application to guide the workers to a new way of thinking and acting. I am a Swasti Walmart Pairchina. The Atlas of Pairchik and the Swasti Walmart Pairchik in Apona, the Walmart Pairchik Pona, the Nala and Avalkil and Munet Radanjirka. And in the Pairchi and a Kalyantik Munadia could clear Valkila field fund and Ipa and Avalkila field fund. Impact of foundational training. Training reduced late days per month from 45 per 100 female workers to 17. The efficiency rate of women workers rose by 3.5 percentage points, which is equivalent to 5% improvements in productivity. Training reduced workforce turnover, beginning with 100 workers. In the period in which the factory would normally lose 30 workers, training reduced the number of separations to 23. Training reduced the gender pay gap by 1.35 US dollars, or 40%. Factories could recover the lost time in training in less than 1.7 months through increased productivity and reduced delayed days and separations. Training increases a sense of pride in work, teamwork, and helps problem solving. The company is not only interested in the volume of production, but also in the productivity and well-being of our workers. Therein comes the importance of our women in factories training. Advanced Training Advanced Training is an intensive training course for 80 to 100 hours on key areas such as health, sexual health, gender relationships, functional literacy, communication, leadership skills and other allied skills. This is done over a period of 10 to 12 months without affecting the production schedule of the factories. If you asked me about the number of hours, yes, it's quite a lot. But as the result, they become more motivated and more in achieved in less time. Though the uh, foundation training served the seed of women empowerment and gave them initial awareness to work towards their well-being, it is through the advanced training that the program took roots. Impact of Advanced Training Training reduced workforce turnover. Beginning with 100 workers, in the period in which the factory would normally lose 30 workers, training reduced the number of separations to 21. Reduced absenteeism from 0.97 days per month to 0.69 days per month, a drop of 29%. Reduced late coming from 0.44 days per month to 0.10 days per month, a drop of 77%. Before training, 88% of workers report meeting their production target. After training, 96% reported reaching their target. Training reduced accidents. Trained workers are more likely to reach their production target. 
there was a significant improvement in the productivity of the workers. Training helped workers to manage stress. Training reduced gender stereotypes. The workforce in a factory is 50% uh, women. Uh, the Women in Factory program by Walmart, which was executed by Swasti, has had a great impact in our, in our workforce. They have become more confident about engaging with the factory as well as to resolve the issues. It has also helped them resolve all the family issues and lead a better way of life. Overall, it has created a positive impact to our factory. Family orientation. Family engagement is a critical approach in Swasti's empowerment strategies and interventions. Swasti includes the family members as participants and key stakeholders in their program. It provides women an environment to practice at home what they have learned in the factory. Training of supervisors. Training given to supervisors sensitizes them to ensure their support and encouragement to workers to participate in their training and to apply what they have learned in the workplace. Supervisors are trained on leadership skills, people management, and interpersonal relationships. There can be issues between supervisors and workers because we have targets to meet and uh, people take leave without informing, don't complete the work in time, they come late. Added to that, they have their own personal issues. This training has helped the supervisors to manage the work better, plan and uh, delegate and use persuasion instead of force. Sustainability Components TOT Training of Trainers For the program to be effective and make sure sustainability of the behavioral changes initiated, Swasti encouraged and developed leaders in the factories. These leaders in turn train their co-workers and also new recruits. A TOT consists of 21 days of intense coaching to enable participants to become effective life skill trainers. Collaborative Planning and Implementation Team, CPIT. Keeping the momentum after the training is completed or even getting the workers to that level of team motivation can sometimes be a challenge. And since motivation is the key to having a productive, creative and innovative team, there needs to be a mechanism within the factory for periodic planning and review of the programs to ensure effective delivery and maintain the levels of enthusiasm. Peer education. Peer influence is a game changer. Selected factory workers are trained as peer educators to share learning on life skills topics with their co-workers through one-to-one, -one, one to group interaction and formal outreach. Observing the influence of the peer educators, the company promoted some of them to higher levels of responsibilities in the factory. For example, trainee tailors have been promoted to higher grades. Tailors have been promoted as assistant supervisors or supervisors. Helpers have been moved to the next level as checkers or assistant checkers. Partners Round Table This is an important component of the Women and Factories program which promotes cross-learnings and sustainability between implementing partners. All factories that were implementing partners of women in factories have met at regular intervals to share learnings and best practices and to focus on sustainability of the program. Swasti ke jo training program jo hum logo ne kiye hain, wo us program ko dekhte hue humne socha ki hamari company ke andar ek achhi soch ho अच्छा विचार बने सबको अच्छा डिसिप्लिन आए उसके लिए हमने एक क्रांति नाम देके एक अच्छी सोच की ओर क्रांति नाम देके आगे इस कंटिन्यू ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम कंटिन्यू रखा कमिटमेंट ट्रांसफॉर्म्स अ प्रॉमिस इनटू अ रियलिटी द पैशनेट एंड डिवोटेड स्टाफ ऑफ स्वास्थ्य हु डिलीवर्ड द प्रोग्राम मेड द प्रॉमिस ऑफ वुमेन एंपावरमेंट अ रियलिटी I believe in motivating people. It gives me great sense of worth when I see the women in factories become better informed. We insist on changing behavior to change one's attitude and life. Now, they don't miss their breakfast. They take care of their health and hygiene. I would like to be remembered, if I am remembered at all, as being a catalyst for a change in the world. The end result of the Women in Factories intervention 
is a productive workforce. It benefits not only workers but also the factory. There has been many changes we have seen among our women workers in the workplace and their personal life. Like hygiene practices, boldness, communication, teamwork, budget planning, openness and high level of awareness, self-sustaining and ultimately leading a balanced and better life. Given the enormous success and impact of the Women in Factories program, Swasti undertook a formative study to assess and gather information on stakeholder interest and perspective on the program. The study indicated that all the various stakeholders saw tremendous value in the Women in Factories program, increased labor productivity, reduced absenteeism, and improved quality of work were cited as a perceived merit in these programs. They were also seen to boost employee morale, elicit greater trust and commitment from the workers, and to enable smoother and positive interactions between the workers and the management. In business, one can be obsessed with profit and lose the human face of business. As a women entrepreneur leader, I can feel the pulse of women in my factory. Shell, as a value-based organization, believe that providing human services are a vital component of our business plan. Swasti Health Catalyst is working towards achieving health outcomes and improving the quality of life of the socially excluded and poor communities and believes that health and well-being can be addressed when all three aspects – behaviors, systems and social determinants – are addressed together. Product and productivity are correlated. Productivity is all about working steadily at a goal, not about burning out. With a group of poorly motivated and unhappy labor force, one cannot achieve the goal dreamed about. You cannot start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. The stories of these empowered women, these unknown voices, these hitherto unknown stories are all about choices, chance and changes. The program overall, overall, I would say, is about unleashing human potential and unlocking business returns. So it's, a, it's an impact which is both ways. And when I talk about unleashing human potential, it's about the women who got the training, who have gone on to do, achieve several things within their own lives, which some of it may look small to us, but are fairly significant for the women. These women had the courage to make a choice, and they took the chance to change their lives. So many times, when we ask a factory worker what her dreams are, she will tell you what her hopes are for her children and for her family. Her dreams are always for someone else. Once she has been through the training, she begins to talk about job growth and plan her next steps. She begins to have more control over her money and help her children with homework with her improved literacy skills. She begins to talk with her neighbors about the importance of hygiene and washing hands properly and eating meals on time. She begins to understand the importance of menstrual hygiene and using sanitary napkins and of family planning. She will also look you straight in the eye and talk with confidence about the future. While re-scripting their lives, these women reclaimed their power. While rewriting their stories, they held a pen in their own hands, listening to their inner selves as they moved from victims to survivors, one step at a time, one day at a time, because they were convinced that only I can change my life. No one else can or will do it for me. <laughs>